Ooh, look at them fresh gauges. And looks like we have a Goodman uh, split system here. Five ton. And it is not cooling. It's cooling to about 80 degrees, but uh, it won't go below that. So I'm going to check up the refrigerant. I've got the suction side hooked up here. Um, just feeling around, see, see, seeing what's going on. I can see the suction line is sweating. Got this big old uh, suction line dryer. Uh, looks like it's starting to rust out at the bottom, so I'll, I'll make sure he's aware of that. But the charge is actually looking okay as far as the suction goes. Uh, the suction's within range here. I'm not going to hook up the high side. I only hook up my high side when I have a refrigerant issue. If the suction was low uh, or if it was sky high for whatever reason, then I'd hook up my high side. But I don't want to uh, hook it up and lose, lose refrigerant or whatever the case may be if I don't have to. So I'm going to make my way inside and uh, see what we have inside take some temperature readings coming in the return and out of the supply and we can take it from there look at the inside unit maybe we have a drain issue uh, so let's go ahead and do that guys now here uh -huh. you see that noise of water something see that yeah gurgling Eh? It's gurgling. Gurgling? Yeah. But it wasn't there before. I don't know what Okay. It is, so yeah. so yeah, it, it, it may be just as simple as the, the drain line may be clogged. Clogged? Oh. And what happens is that you don't have a float switch, a safety float switch to shut it down. Okay. So if that water sits on that coil, it'll, it'll freeze up over time. Oh. So I'm going to open this up to see what we got. Man. So we got the drain line making a gurgling noise we got a five ton Goodman it's in a horizontal application and we've got water in the auxiliary drain pan so that tells me we've got a drain issue uh, he doesn't have a float switch so the system won't shut down I've got to get this thing opened up and see what we got. Grab my drill and let's get to it. Okay, you guys, I got the panel opened up. And I'm going to show you down in here. That drain pan is not designed to hold water. So that drain line is clogged up. I hope you can see that. And what happens is, is since that water sits up against that coil, after a long period of runtime, it will actually freeze, uh, make the coil freeze up. So the pressures look good outside, the charge is adequate, but the drain line is clogged up. So this is just a you know lack of maintenance here. I'm gonna try to get him on a maintenance contract, but I've gotta get this drain line cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him about putting a float switch in here so that if this happens again, it'll shut the whole system down uh, instead of degrading the insulation because what happens is is you can see it's wet right here and uh, the water will make its way into this insulation the moisture will actually it'll actually put moisture back into the space uh, which then you know gets moisture in the ductwork all that stuff so uh, i'm gonna get this drain line cleaned up and we'll test everything out okay so found the drain line that comes from the air handler uh, this drain line here comes from the auxiliary pan and even that drain line is a little clogged up uh, i'm gonna get my shot back out 
and get these unclogged, get these cleaned up. This peach wrap is clogged up with just algae, algae growth. Uh, this is not glued, so when I pull this off, I'll show it to you. You can see all that. Oof. Man, I hope you guys seen that. You can see all that. Ooh. Big old blob of uh, goop come out of there. And I'll show you inside this drain line here. It is just clogged up. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to get this drain line unclogged. Show you what's in there. Looks like a big old glob of, uh, I don't know, it's disgusting. But uh, let's do it. That water is ice cold guys and eventually right now it's the morning time so this eventually would have froze up and uh, on that coil and froze the whole system up and when a system freezes up at least in my area in my experience is it'll maintain around 80 80 degrees 80 81 degrees and uh, that's about it so So I don't know who used to take care of this place before I moved in the, moved on the street and started using this gas station often. Uh, but this is not ideal. This drain line is draining right off the side of this unit, right off the side of this building. And it's dripping right against the foundation. So uh, right now it doesn't look like that's an issue, but we have got power running here. Uh, for the gas pumps and eventually this is going to erode away we pull about 30 gallons of moisture out of a building a day when it comes to a commercial application so we're talking about a lot of water so i'm also going to talk to him about extending this drain line out it's going to simply just take a piece of pvc uh, or i may even just come out straight out the building and just get it off of this building a little bit about 14 inches i believe is what they what the code requirements meet so uh, we're going to get this drain line cleaned up. Uh, we've already got it unclogged. It's back in action. You can see it's draining. Uh, filled the P-trap up naturally. And we've got moisture coming out of the building now. So I'm going to go inside, put the panel back on, fire this puppy back up, and take some temperature splits coming out of the vents, and we should be good to go. I'm not happy, satisfied with just uh, doing one unit. So I like to do a walkthrough of the building. And uh, we've got a walk-in cooler here. This is this condensing unit condenses the refrigerant for his walk-in uh, or his, his reach-in rather. It's not a walk-in; it's a reach-in cooler. Um, but you can see the drain line on this one here is just as bad, if not worse. So, uh, oh yeah, pretty nasty. We got some nasty stuff in there so i'm going to advise him about this as well and uh, it's all about picking up extra work you can do the bare minimal but that's uh only going to get you so far you got to be that guy that does it you know does it 100 so uh, the mini split over here is a little cockeyed it's a little out of whack looks like it may need to be a little bit a little leveled up so Got some leaves in the bottom, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna get him on a maintenance contract and he's gonna be in good shape because it also looks like his condenser cool. It's pretty dirty. Yeah, that cool is pretty bad. So disassemble the whole unit, clean the condensing coil, get the leaves out the bottom, check the amp draws, all that good stuff. Go inside, clean the drain line out, sanitize the pan. Check the amp draws inside, uh, calibrate his thermostat, change the filters, and yeah, he should be back in action.